today I wanted to make a video to try and explain my swing philosophy. There's a lot of different swing philosophies out there, but I think it's really important that you understand what it is that you're trying to accomplish. When I was a teenager, I had the great honor to take lessons for two years with a world-renowned instructor who teaches the modern golf swing that is noted for its minimal lower body movement. Um, now that I'm in my 40s, I find that I need that movement and I've become a proponent of the classic swing. You could say that Ben Hogan, Gary Player, and Lee Trevino have these swings. Um, they're some of my favorite golfers. And modern proponents, you could say, are Sergio Garcia and Rory McIlroy. You'll notice they all have very free-flowing swings. None of these men are very large, and yet they hit the ball a very long way and were noted for their ball striking skills. Um, so what are the elements uh, of the classic golf swing as I see them? One thing I believe is the golf swing isn't in two parts. I believe it should feel like one continuous motion from the backswing through transition all the way through to the finish. For me, I think that it's important that the club swings back below the shoulder plane, as Ben Hogan famously described. Secondly, I believe that the lower body unwinds before the upper body, leaving the club head behind. Now what happens when the club head is left behind for that split second is the club gets laid off, which is crucial because that allows the club to get slotted on a very shallow plane coming into the ball. This laying off action delays your acceleration so that your acceleration is happening through impact. The number one problem for golfers is premature acceleration. Now if you'll take a moment to look at this video of Gary Player from an overhead view you'll see very clearly how the club is being laid off and how it comes around in a circle. This is what I call Shangri-La. It's a position just before the wrists unhinge and the club is riding along the edge of the right forearm or even below it. And what this does is it creates a very shallow strike on the ball and it puts very little side spin on the ball. The club face is closed by the action of the body, not by the action of the hands. And to me, I think it's the finest way to hit a golf ball. Now as I begin to approach much better impact position, you'll see that my body lines are more closely mimicking those of those great players that I admire. The shallow angle of attack into the ball, the spine angle that is at least 90 degrees to the shaft angle. These are things that I believe are crucial to this style of hitting the golf ball. If you look at this picture of me from two years ago before I began my swing reconstruction, you'll see that my angle of attack is much steeper than it is now, and you'll notice that my spine angle is much straighter than it is now. This yielded very inconsistent results. So before you begin your swing reconstruction, make sure that you know the philosophy of the swing that you're trying to create. 